Hello beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I am Lady Calamere. And I am doing my 145th presentation. It will be on Kananga water. What is Kananga water? Why is it used? And why would you want to buy it? So Kananga water, you can find it at Botanicas, especially Botanicas. A new age, some new age stores, occult stores, uh, little grocery shops that especially dealing with the Afro Caribbean. I've even, I actually found this at Walmart in the Jamaican sec section. So Lang Lang, I mean, I'm sorry, Kananga water is made from Lang Lang Lang. And we have Shadow and Joker having a fight. Guys, hey, uh-oh, it's a fight. We got a fight. So, I don't have a notes or script, so just bear with me. Kananga water is made from Lang Lang. And it also has alcohol. So, please, when using this around fire or candle or flame, know that this is flammable. So, we got Loki, which we have a volatile situation right here. We have Joker, we have Shadow, and we have Loki. And it looks like Sir Mew Mew is coming. Joker, it's okay. And he just chased Sir Mew Mew. Oh my god. There is a big fight. It's too funny. Shadow, looks like you won, Super Cat. Did you win against Lex Luthor? So, Kananga water was really Kananga water was invented in Jamaica in the 19th century. And it's a very nice scent used by both men and women and later on it was picked up by the spiritual people using it for their magic And it was uh, invented on the plantations. And it was established by the British, like I said, in the 19th century. Sorry, I just got my train of thought. I messed up. I do have ADD, and I do have post-COVID symptoms, so I had COVID a year, over a year ago. So anyways, it's made from the essential oil of the... Lang Lang, and also from the tree from the Kananga Odorata. That's why I got the word Kananga, but it's spelled K A N A G A. But the Kananga is spelled C A N A N G A. Next word O D O R A T A. And it's used in various rituals, sometimes in place of Florida water. Some people would rather use this than Florida water. Some people use it with, uh, along with Florida water. Whatever works for you, then you do. But there are some differences and some similarities. This is used for spiritual cleansings of yourself, of others, and of your ritual area. 
You can use this to cleanse your ritual tools, your altar. Do not use this on animals. Do not pour this on animals. Okay? Do not pour this on your cat, your horse, your dog. Do not do that. You can use it on yourself. And it has a very floral scent. It's got that Lang Lang going. And it almost smells like, uh, like Neroli. And I'm trying to think of that other scent. Pomerosa. So if you like a floral scent, you would like this. It does not have the bite like Florida water. Some people love that spicy scent. Some people don't. So this is used, this is common among the African diaspora religions. So voodoo, hoodoo, obeya. Now it's even being used in witchcraft and wicca. And we got Loki here. We got Joker back there. What you up to? What you up to, Jokey? Why don't you, what, no, why are you eating? That's Miss Kitty. What are you eating? What did you just... You, dumbass. We ate a piece of fur. I just back into you, too. Miss Kitty, come here. Oh, you're a good girl. This is Miss Kitty. Gosh, we got a lot of cats. I think the Kananga water is bringing out the cats. Do you think cat spirits are attributed or attached to this? So anyways, let's get back to this. This can be used for all types of spiritual cleansing as well as protection. Cleansing and protection. Another thing that this is used is for is you can pour some Kananga water in a bowl. And I know it's a bit expensive. So you may want to use some uh, get a bowl a black glass bowl. bowl is really good or a clear bowl on a black altar cloth or white altar cloth whatever fits you but black really like black mirrors like the black mirror really is more conducive to scrying than a silver mirror but whatever whatever works you do you and you could take some purified water pour it in a bowl and just pour some drops of this you know to save money and use it for scrying it will help open up your psychic awareness your psychic powers whether they're active or latent and you can use this you even use that water to bless your third eye of course try not to get this in your eyes Again, that won't be so good. It might burn. You want to wash it out. And you don't want to drink Kananga water. Kananga water, you don't want to buy a bottle of this and drink it. So you use it from just, you know, putting some needed information, disclaimers. So you can use this for scrying. And you can use this to just use it as aromatherapy. Open the bottle and just inhale it. You see, I moved the whole thing. I wish I would have just put a hole in, just a little hole, and sprinkle it around like I did with my last presentation on the special water called uh, Bay Rum. You can look that up on my channel. So this can help you here open up your psychic powers. Another thing this, this is, is to clean out negativity and get out negative spirits, but also be used to appease the dead. Yes, you can use, put this in a chalice of water, or just, put, if you have a lot of money, and you don't mind spending, you could pour out some of this in your chalice. Or a bowl as an offering for your ancestor altar or you can order, offer it to Santa Muerte 
Santa Muerte does love her perfumes. I noticed that. She, her, one of her people say it's her favorite, Siete Machos. Siete Machos. So Kananga can be used to work with the spirits of the dead, your Bawongs and Voodoo, the ba the the lower the the nation of the dead, the lower of the dead. You use it for Wamon Rujet and use it for your own ancestors or the forgotten ancestors or the forgotten dead. So there's things that are so called the forgotten dead and you can use this during times of when the veil is at its thinnest Samhain, especially when Scorpio is in the 15th degree which happened this year around uh, November 7th that's when Scorpio hit the 15th degree so it changes the day depending on the astrological course quarter thing so you can use this in times of, of any honoring of the dead. Maybe you're of Chinese descent. Maybe you honor, you, you, you do the hungry ghost month. And I know Kananga water is not traditional in that, but, you know, in America, here we have a hodgepodge of everything and we have a melting pot. So, you know, sometimes different communities get together and we, and we hold stuff been there holding circles and you're there with different people of different faiths voodoo you have santeria you have people of hindu faith you have a buddhist you have wicca you have people who practice powwow uh, you know there was someone who practiced native american shamanism they were native american descent and we all got together and we all did different rituals and we mixed things and but we mixed things in the right way Okay, so we did, I mean, usually the group did things with respect. I mean, and sometimes in some groups, you always get an asshole, <laughs> sometimes, but an asshole, two or three or four. So the last public group I was with, uh, and it was a public group, there were too many rotten apples. So, they know who they are. But, anyways, the Kananga water back to the, is to honor the dead, to appease the dead. So, if you got some spiritual upset, maybe there's someone who passed who doesn't know their past or is angry about something or has unfinished business or has always been, you know, treated like dirt. And maybe they need to be appeased and soothed. Maybe they need to, to, to be known that if they were alive, maybe you would care for them. Maybe you would feed them. Maybe you would say, you know what, have a meal on me or have some clothes or you know, maybe just a shoulder to cry on. Because that's what some spirits and ghosts, in order to move over, sometimes that's what they need. So, anyways, back to Kananga water. Kananga water is great to bring feelings of joy. So if you're going through depression, and again, disclaimer, if you need a therapist or psychiatrist or medication, or if you need to go to a psychiatric emergency room or facility, don't hold back. Okay, don't make that mistake. But other than that, feel free if you're going through some sadness or some depression. You can use this aromatherapy along with your medications. As long provided that you're not allergic. So if you have an allergy and it bothers you, don't use it. Or, you know, don't put it on your skin. So this is good for uplifting the mood for those who are going through sadness and depression.
Now, Ylang Lang itself, the essential oil, is pretty expensive. I have some. I have a few bottles. And you can get it diluted with jojoba. Make sure if it's diluted, it's diluted with jojoba. Or your, or your essential oil will oxidize. Meaning it will break, it will get ruined. Jojoba is a wax and will keep the oil. Or like use it like water, like in this alcohol where it's not going to go bad. It may go bad eventually. You know, just keep it, you know, from direct sunlight. Don't put, don't put it where it's stinking hot, you know, so that it will keep. So, Kananga water is also used for healing rites and rituals. Healing rites and rituals. So, you can use this on a healing bag, a Grigri bag. You can use this on a healing poppet. You can put it directly on the person, or you can use this on your candles. But please, before you light that candle, make sure the Kanango oil, it, the Kanango water is dry. It, it has alcohol. If it's wet, you can have a fire. Your home can burn down. You can die. So you don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. So if you bless the candle with this. Make sure it is totally dry. Before you light it. And speaking back. Going back to the dead. This was used in funerary rites. It has long been used in funerary rites in Indonesia. Believe it or not. Kananga is the Malay, Malay name. M-A-L-A-Y. Capital M-A-L-Y. M-A-L-A-Y, sorry. Named for the tall fragrant tree. So... This is great for healing. You so this can be used for blessing something, not only cleansing but blessing. So after you cleanse it, you can bless it, say in the name of the maiden the goddess, warrior goddess, mother goddess, crow goddess, sovereign queen goddess, I bless this, yada, 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 or you can say the name of the god and goddess, or in the name, I mean, if you're Christian, you know, use your trinity. If you're a Christian spiritualist and you use Kananga water, feel free to use your trinity. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. It may, you're using this with an Arisha, or Loa, you know, and I think speaking of Loa, this is also very fragrant and flowery. You know who'd like it? The Azili's. The Azili family. Or the Azu as well. As Azuli Freda. Azuli Azuli Freda. So or Azuli Freda is a great one to use this for. For Arisha, I would definitely say Yamaya or Oshun. It's got the element of water to it. And it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to it. So it's definitely could be used for love spells, friendship spells, calming the emotions. Calming the mind, calming the spirit, but also bringing on, you can use this for romance, especially romance. Maybe you're going out to the club and you want to make yourself more attractive, so you can use this for attraction spells.
Oh, and this is strong. This is this is Benjamin's, and this cut. This is a product of Jamaica. Ooh, I think I need a napkin. This is some really strong stuff. A little goes a long way with this, apparently. And you see, let me show you the color of the liquid. Can you see? So I'll dab a little bit on the napkin. You see that? So just remember that. But it's important if you're wearing all white. I don't want you to... Damn, why didn't Calomir friggin' warn me? So, warning you. Woo! It is strong. I like it, but it is, it is strong. So Kananga can be used in money spells and money drawing spells, spells for luck and gambling. So you can use this make a, a money bowl or like a lucky spell bowl and you use you can fill the bowl up that represents something and water is a pretty good conductor so you could put kananga put the things inside that bowl like if you want to attract good things you could put uh fool's gold in it iron which is iron pyrite maybe real gold some coins any like anything to do with money or if you're doing for love spells you could put some rose quartz in it uh little s images of hearts and rose petals but if you got cats or dogs make sure the bowl is covered or put it make a spell bottle and you can use that spell bottle to bless the room with love energies or money energies just make sure you keep it out of reach of children and animals or you know if someone's gonna just gonna play this let me drink this and go on tiktok no <laughs> so Kananga, another thing that some people would do is mix this Kananga water in cold water, right? And they would sprinkle, put in a spray bottle or sprinkle it on a cloth and wrap around their neck on hot days to cool them down because it was used to cool people down. Also for help drawing money. You can set a bowl beside your bed and put a few drops. I know some people like to light spell candles by their bed. I don't recommend that because if you knock it over into your bed or if you have animals, you could have a fire that's like falling asleep with a cigarette. Dangerous. So, like I said, you can mix this with different, you know, get the, you can buy different uh, bottles and if you want. Like I said, well, I always discuss making a love bottle. What you want to do with the water, too, is use it on your altar. Say if you made a love bowl or a love bottle, you put some, get a bottle, put some Kanago water water put some rose quartz in there put some images of hearts put maybe some a rune dealing with love two people coming together a sigil and flowers roses herbs 
and then you spray it around your home and around your windows to attract that love or you can use it for water and attract things sprayed around this Kunanga water can also be used to call upon your spirit guides for spiritual guidance it can be used to call your spirit guides for spiritual guidance I'm telling you, this was great for incorporating for rituals for pur of purification and to uh, honor the dead, memorial, memorial, memorializing memorial for the dead. So when you feel unbalanced or anxiety, this can be, Kananga can be used to put on like your pulse points where you would put perfume like on your neck, the pulse and put the pulse points on your wrists and on your heart area right above your heart where it beats, where that pulses and on your ankles to feel that energy of Kananga to feel good, to feel protected, to f that power. You can use this sprinkling into your bath water or if you don't have a bath, you can use it in a shower. Feel free to pour some of this on and feel good. It's, it's uh, Kananga water has been used in the past for to ease us aches and pains and also fevers to help calm that down I have never used this for fevers but I know because of the alcohol that's good I know for I know some people will put straight rubbing alcohol on them 50% but sometimes that could be too harsh so what I would do is a for get a bowl of water and I would use alcohol and put some ice but also you can get a bowl of water put some ice in it you put some kananga oil in it and use it the the rag and use it to wipe you know yourself down to, to calm that fever I know some people that just put like not not talking about kananga but water, ice, alcohol and a few drops of peppermint a drop or two or three of essential oil you don't want to use a lot and the peppermint oil would uh, be refreshing and also help calm down calm down the fever to bring it down So what else can we talk about Kananga water? And like I said, the spiritual tradition in Jamaica is called a Baya. So Obeya is a uh, O B E A H So the only type of brand I can find of Kananga water is in, in different I went to different markets, meat markets was always Benjamin's and in uh, Walmart and you could find it in the the area where you buy food. I don't know why they put it in the food area, and because people might think, "Hmm, Kanaga water. That seems interesting to drink." Uh, not. But they put it with you know right near the uh, coconut milk, or the edibles. So.
so let's get it that's what it looks like the bottle and it has the lion it's a really refreshing scent and it ha it's it's very powerful it gives you peace of mind and has loving energies the planetary power that seems to be very powerful with this is Venus it helps stop confusing so when you feel all this chaos so maybe you're having chaos at home chaos at work chaos everywhere you go and you just want peace a little bit of kananga oil kananga water sorry using this in your spells to empower yourself so that should help you in times of needs and stress So during times is to help you de-stress. So to really gather your wits about you. To really have that safe space of peace and love and protection. You can use Kananga water in your floor wash and wash down your home. You, you know how you can use tar water or you can use uh, the Bamba floor wash. You can also put this in your floor wash. And with intention, not only just cleaning your home, but physically, but cleaning your home spiritually. So maybe you feel like you're having some bad luck. Use this. Use this with your spirits, your angels, your daemons, your orishas, your luas, your gods, your goddesses. You can, if you can't find this on, on, uh, your stores, you can definitely find this online at Amazon. So check that out. You can definitely buy this on Amazon. But sometimes you may find it cheaper in the stores. I know for cos other cosmetic uh, purposes, Kananga water was used in this. It also has notes of jasmine. That's what I was looking for. Um, it has deep notes of neroli, jasmine. I'm trying to have pomerosa notes.
So what else do I want to talk about? This can clear the path. You can use this along with uh, road opening candles. Again, wait to it, it dries before you know burning it so you don't burn your home down. So it does have, have a good history in magic and spells. It's not like something that was discovered 10 years ago. I think I'm going to sum this up soon. And don't let the word water fool you because it's really uh, like a war. It has alcohol in it. So don't let the word water fool you. It's used for removing jinxes and bad luck, removing that, and attracting good luck while uh, helping with the removing of curses. No, I don't want you near it. I, I know, you don't like the smell. Then stop going near it. So, Kananga Water can help open the way in Abre Camino spells and assist you achieving certain goals that you're looking for. So, you can use for it to achieve what you're looking for and getting rid of the negative things that are bothering you, that are bringing you down, that astral filth. So, it's good for your aura. Aura cleansing is good it just is good for that and so I'm just trying to think what else you can use it you know like I said some people use this in place of Florida water or with Florida water And remember, it, ha it has been used in the past for healing and for healing spells. You know, maybe you want to heal a cat, so you use a can the cat candle and you can burn the cat candle to, to get rid of the bad energies that are hurting your cat. I know brown Santa Muerte candles are good for animals you can use it with that you can also use it with white santa muerte candles if you can't find brown ones whatever i'm not going to get into the santa muerte thing because this is about kananga water i almost said lang lang water but kananga water So please do not get this in your eyes and know that this can stain, I don't know how long it will stain white clothes, I never got it on white clothes, 
and it's not suitable for internal use don't put this in your vagina or your mucous membranes So anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you like my presentation, please give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, give me a thumbs down. So for, I've never got a thumbs down, so thank you. I'd love to hear what you think about Kananga water. So hit me up on the comments. Please do share this video with your friends and family. And since I do not have a Patreon account, please think about giving to the Covenant House. Covenant House helps children and teens in need that feel safer out in the street than their own home because they're so abused. So the Covenant House is an outreach program that's given kids clothes, a place to stay, food, medical. Also, think about helping DAV, which is Disabled American Veterans. So, to help them heal, to help them, you know, get their life back after getting hurt or after being hurt or dealing with disabilities so as much as I love money and I love getting money and I could use more money for <laughs> bills I don't have a Patreon account give it to those worthy charities and hey if you know me in person you want to roll me some money I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say no to it but I'm not gonna hey give me money Hand it over. Hand it over. <laughs> give it to the give it to the Covenant House or DAV Disabled American Veterans. And I'm gonna thank all my veteran viewers for keeping, you know, for sacrificing your time, your energy. And I know with veterans some gave some gave all, but all gave some. <laughs> So thank you very much. Also, please share my video with your friends and family. Subscribe so you never miss a video and it helps my channel grow and lets me know I'm doing a good job. When, when you comment, when you give me likes, when you subscribe, it lets me know I'm doing a good job. So anyways, be good to yourself. Looks like Shadow is the last cat. You know, the last final girl. He's the final cat. <laughs> of Miss Kitty today. We almost had Sir Mew Mew. Of Miss Kitty, Loki, the Joker, and Shadow. And almost Sir Mew Mew. Lady Boss is nowhere to be found. So, she's probably asleep on a job. But anyway, as always, blessed be.